Okay, let's go. Okay, there is a way that we can go that way, but we need to go and rescue on. Oh, that does mean retraversing through this area. Is this some kind of filming? Who is in charge here? Crap, that's definitely on. Oh, you show me your true you? form. Okay, well now we can actually see what Bicorn is capable of. So let's see, Bicorn does have access to wind spells, although not immediately. What is interesting is that unlike our other party members whose levels and personas level up together, the persona that gains level is whatever is currently equipped. So if you want a persona to gain any sort of skills, you have to have it equipped in order to do so. Okay, so honestly, I would like to do something with Bicorn, but I don't think we'll really get that much of a chance. I'll switch back to Arsene and just beat this one up. And then Morgana, or Mona, I should say. I am going to try to stick with code names in terms of what the characters use. But don't be surprised if I just use their actual names from time to time, you know, in battle. Anyway, we can beat him up, and thankfully, we don't necessarily need to ask for a persona to lend us their power again. So, it would be pretty useless, because we already have Jack-O-Lantern as a currently equipped persona. However, if you do have a the Shadow as a persona, and you ask for an item or some money... They will be a bit more pleased with you. So, often though, they will give you more money or a better item. Not always, but it does just kind of depend. It is, it is usually better if you do have the same, pers the same persona as the shadow that you are fighting. Hey, I leveled up. With this power. Awesome. Okay. Now there is one other shadow type. What are you gonna do? You're going to turn that way. Perfect! Show me you are now dead. Oh! Yes. New enemies! The bedside brute. Okay, well... Damn, I was hoping I could actually kill him. Whatever, we can do that. And then... Okay, so this shadow is timid. Gotta keep that in mind. Whatever. Shut up. Oh, okay, so you saw that. That is a sign that you picked the wrong option. now. I am... Uh, okay. Sure. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. I was expecting to find the other shadow that we saw earlier. And hey, Ryuji leveled up. And he gets lunch. Oh, I never actually said what Ryuji's uh, capabilities are. Okay. 
So, what Ryuji can do in terms of, that is our personas, what Ryuji can basically do is that his primary focus is just straight up attack. He prioritizes in electric skills and very much prioritizes in physical attacks. So, if you need a very strong physical user, Ryuji has you covered. That is the short of it. Um, eh, sucker. Show me your true. Thankfully, form. they there are certain walls that they can't see through, which is perfect by me. Oh, perfect. Okay. I don't see a weak spot. Uh, they are resistant to electricity, but we can do this. And then Morgana can finish that one off. Just so I can get some more, like I said, experience and money and whatnot. Anyway, this is the Jack-O-Lantern and burn it! Okay, this one is upbeat. Good to know. That's right. Huh? What do you think? Well, if it pleases you. Huh. Hey. Huh. We got it. I'm there. Thou are mine. And now we got Mandrake. I will be trying to negotiate any sort of new persona that You've we get. Mask, it sugar. is rather important that we try to recruit as many as we can get. Hey! Sweet, Morgana got Patra. So Patra will allow us to cure Dizzy, Forget, Sleep, and Hunger. By the way, there are very different status ailments that are introduced in Persona 5. Yay. Okay. Now oh, this is gonna be a super long episode, but I'm sure some people don't mind about that. I think this is open now. This way. Uh, before we do that though, uh, Morgana, mind healing up, or Mona, mind healing up Skull. Thanks. Let's go. Up. Uh, Look, I'll apologize for touching the armor without permission. Well, that explains that. Uh, she totally doesn't get what's going on. Let's hurry. We have to save her. No kidding. Now then. Raise, I'm gonna be. This is the intruder. Hamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the? Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny. Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida. <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. 
Now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Yeah, no kidding. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! On! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? We'll explain later. You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me, that I had her take your place. You bastard! <gasps> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. I'll start with the clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Gotta do something! Takamaki! Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. Don't give in to this bastard! Huh? You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say. Slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. Uh, uh, Tell me, who is going to avenge him if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells in me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right! No more holding back! <sighs> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. <laughs> Some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kaboshina's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! There's a very distinct difference between love and infatuation. Slash lust. 
What Kamoshida doesn't want is love. He just wants sex. And he uses that power to force that desire onto people who do not want to have any part of it. On did not want any part of that. Shiho did not want any part of that. And because of what he's done, Shiho is on the brink of death. This bastard has to pay one way or another. And we'll start with you. And now we fight the guard captain, Belphegor. Belphegor is weak to fire, resists electricity, wind, physical, and curse, and knows the skills Magaru, Dia, and Garu. This is very much a fight that On is good for, and even if you have Jack-O-Lantern, that is a very quick way to die. Get ready. But we can use On's power to take him on with the Femme Fatale. Carmen! Now, you cannot do any sort of negotiations when it comes to bosses. So, really, your only options are to break formation if you want to do something else, or go for the all out attack! Okay, and I need to switch off Jack-O-Lantern! Anything that can resist wind. Um, I don't have anything that resists wind. Okay, that is going to be a problem. Uh, who has the highest endurance then? Uh, Incubus has four, as does Arsene. Um... Actually, Bicorn wouldn't necessarily be too bad. Yeah, we'll switch the Bicorn to use Tarunda. Uh, ooh, actually. Do I have, yes, Persona stats. Uh, okay. Yeah, Skull. Skull isn't gonna be helpful, so guard. And then Mona. Oh, he resists win, but it's not like we can really do much else. Yeah, I made the right call there. Alright. Thankfully, On also has the capability of healing, so if we are hurting pretty badly, she can heal us up as well. Thankfully, we don't need that right now. And that's that. Oh shit. Wait! Why'd you come here, man? And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? One question at a time, On. J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? H huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? On? Seriously, calm down. How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We'll explain when we get to the real world. We need to get out of here. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Yeah.
Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Ryuji. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. <sighs> this feels so strange. Imagine how we felt. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power... My persona... It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Aren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? Well, at first I was reluctant because she couldn't fight. But she does have a persona. I'm sure she'll be fine. I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry, I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, oh, right, she can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, uh, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll be counting on you. I doubt something as dangerous as your group could have been pulled off with orthodox methods. It wouldn't be odd if you had someone that was proficient in deceiving the eyes of others. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And with this, we have established a new confidant with On Takamaki, that of the lover's arcana. So On, unlike Ryuji, actually gets an ability when we first begin her confidant, Baton Pass, which is a very, very helpful ability. So whenever we get a one more, we can uh, basically pass off our turn to another person in our party, and in doing so, their attack will be stronger. All right. Just like 
let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... All right, sure. I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. Morgana. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. Wait, what? This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. You think Sojiro's gonna let me keep him? Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Wait! Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Don't I get a say in this? Uh, the boss is not gonna be pleased with us. But now we have a base of operations, the Shujin Academy rooftop. Person. Hmm? Hey. Uh huh. All right, all right, Doctor. <sighs> Thanks for coming. She was a doctor. So she's a quack. Take care, boss. What the? What is this place? My room. Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? I, I didn't bring it. It followed me home. Not my problem. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. 
Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. Don't worry, boss. I'll take care of him. Was that the ruler of this place? That's the boss. He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. <sighs> Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Yeah, I was gonna call him Morgana. Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. <laughs> Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. To be fair, everyone would probably like you more than they like me. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. Do you honestly think that form is a human? It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Infiltration tools? What are those? Well, I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? Sounds like a fair trade-off. I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. We have a contract, then. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. This we have a new confidant with Morgana, that of the magician Arcana. So the different abilities that we get, even from our own party members, aren't always limited to combat. What Morgana can do for us is allow us to craft infiltration tools. These types of tools vary from being able to deal basic elemental damage to creating lockpicks to open up locked chests to being able to attract or repel enemies, and even, at its most extreme, be able to replenish ammo. So, infiltration tools have a very 
prominent use. And we are definitely going to be making full advantage of them. This doesn't mean that Morgana doesn't have any combat capabilities, but these are what are specific to him. On and to a lesser extent, Ryuji also have specific abilities unique to them, as well as having different combat capabilities, like the baton pass that we got from On. All right. Now do keep in mind that Morgana is a plot-related social link. On isn't. We can hang out with her, and then we'll be able to progress it normally, like you know, normal social links. But Morgana, well, think of Morgana like Teddy from Persona 4. He's basically plot-related, so there's no way to actually increase it normally, aside from just going through the story normally. <laughs> How redundant. But hey, now we can make infiltration tools. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. Alright, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strength born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. Like your infiltration tools? This is all part of our deal. Got it? Got it. I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? Count on me. Th th thanks, Morgana. on. Hey, it's fine. Like you said, it is what it is. So yes, now Morgana will just proceed to follow us literally everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. He'll be there in class, he'll be there whenever we travel around town. Morgana is basically our voice, sort of, despite the fact that he speaks as his own character. Yay! But at any rate, with a brand new party member in tow, and two new confidants established, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. With another party member in tow, we at least have, well, a little bit more help in stealing Kamoshida's heart. Although... He did say that we were going to be expelled, although that hasn't happened yet. We won't be expelled immediately, so we still have some time in order to steal his heart. But we need to be prepared. We need to make sure that we are able to successfully infiltrate that palace and find whatever treasure that Morgana has stated. Until then, though... We should probably just follow up on what Morgana, and even Igor, said. Personas are the strength of heart, and what we need to do is establish genuine connections with the people around us. By doing so, we'll be able to, well, control more powerful personas, 
as well as be able to get abilities that we wouldn't have access to otherwise. So, we've got our work cut out for us, but we shouldn't forget our goal. So until next time, everyone, take care.